Carvers, welcome back to Custom Carving UK, the home of everything power carving related. Um, I just wanted to do a quick video because I've had a few comments and a few people ask me questions on the back end about how to make their carving look better. Now, when you first start, everything that you do won't look half as good as you think it will. And the reason why is a lot of the time you start off with a piece of wood like this, you carve into it, and then you leave all of these rough saw cuts in it and it looks a mess to be honest with you. So I've just completed this elephant in this end grain and I'll tell you now, end grain is hard to do. Um, but um, I think what really finished this piece off is sanding. So what I've done is I've uh, ordered myself a couple of things from Amazon. I'll put the links in the description as well. Now this is Emery backed cloth sandpaper. It has to be the emery backed cloth, otherwise this won't work very well if you use standard sandpaper. Um, I got this in a range of 80 grit all the way up to 600 grit. I think 600 grit is probably going to be a bit excessive, but we'll see how we go. Um, and then I've also bought some Dremel mandrels, which are the 402 versions. So I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully fix your sanding problems and start sanding like a pro. So if that's what you're interested in, watch the video and let's see if we can get sanding like pros. So here we are back in the workshop and uh, for this, I'm gonna be using my Dremel 4000 with Fletcher. This is the piece. As you can see, it looks like all the details have now been carved in, but it just needs a sand to uh, finish it off. If you haven't watched that video as well, check out the previous videos and there's um, almost a step-by-step -step guide on how we carve that. So these are the mandrels from Dremel, number 402. And they come in a four pack. I think it costs around about 10 pounds UK. And these are the, the multi-abrasive sandpapers that are emery backed. I can't stress enough. You try it with normal sandpaper, it just won't work. They'll fall apart. So you need to get the emery cloth backed sandpaper. I got this on Amazon and I like the fact uh, that the box it came in um, had all the way from sort of 80 grit through to 600 grit. And it allows me to keep everything in one place. The first thing you're going to do is just open up the box. And you'll find that all of these sandpapers have an elastic band around them, which is a little bit annoying, but I suppose it keeps it uh, in the box during transit. So just take those elastic bands off. By the way guys, if you like the music that you can hear in the background, uh, it was a new track that we brought out for the Elephant Carve. So if you watch that video, you'll get to hear the full track. Let us know in the comments what you think about the, uh, the music that we're doing in the background as well. I just thought it was another way to be creative and uh, incorporate music into woodwork. Feel the rhythm, the brain comes alive Lines and curves where our dreams thrive Hold tight, let the magic ignite In the studio lights, we carve through the night The first cut is the deepest, but you keep on going Elephants are amazing, in the brain they're glowing If we can carve it, you can soon, we stop the showing there we go, that's done. Close the lid. And pull the papers through the slots at the front. There we go.
Now all you're going to do is cut off four strips, roughly the same size, it doesn't have to be perfect. And you could even go for six depending on uh, how much you want to be using the same uh, sort of sanding mandrel. But for the purposes of the video I'm just going to use four. And take out one of the mandrels. And you'll see there's a little tiny screw in the top. Get your little screwdriver, unscrew it. And that's what you're left with. Now, obviously, you need to put a hole in the center for the screw to go through without ripping uh, all of the sandpaper up. I decided because I'm in my workshop and I've got the Dremel, easiest way to do it is just stick a diamond burr on the end and put a hole through the center. Of it. Now you're going to put the three th screw through the center. Uh, it's important to remember to have the same amount of layers on the top as you've got on the bottom because it will be sanding from both sides. When you're done, it should look something like that. Screw it back on. And there you have it, that's the first sanding mandrel. Decided to just poke a hole in the box. This way I can use this as sort of a sanding stand to keep all of my different grit mandrels uh, in the same place and my sandpaper in the same place. Just going to repeat the process now uh, for the other grits. And when you're sanding guys you're going to want a different range of grits for different purposes um 80 grit is probably more to get away of any big cut marks um that you've got in the wood or any big sort of um carving lines that you've put in um and then as you go down the grits it gives you a really glossy smooth finish so 400 and 600 grit are going to give you that really smooth polished wood look and it makes a huge difference when you're finishing a piece Just going to speed up the process for you. Mm. 
another top tip if ever you get one of these screws that won't come out just grab yourself some pliers it keeps the mandrel uh, in one place it makes it a lot easier to unscrew There we go, you get the idea. So now I've just attached it to the uh, Dremel flex shaft and we're going to try this on this uh, log that I've got. There's no particular design. When you are sanding though, make sure you turn your speed down. I usually sand at anywhere between 10,000 to 15,000 RPM. Otherwise what you'll do is just wreck the uh, sandpaper straight away. Here we go, first test. As you can see, it's got no problem sanding away. And this will really, if you go around any sharp edges on your piece, it'll make it look really smooth. And the great thing about this is it often can get into places um, that you can't get into uh, with standard sandpaper. As well as the fact that it um, speeds up the whole sanding process. Don't forget guys, when you are sanding as well, make sure you wear a respirator. The dust will go absolutely everywhere and you don't want it in your lungs. There we go guys, but overall hopefully this is how uh, you can improve your sanding and start sanding like a pro. Don't forget the links are in the description and if you've liked the video or learnt anything please like, share and put a comment in what you want to see us carving next. But apart from that just keep carving and uh, enjoy the rest of your day.